You may not be a storm chaser, but I bet you've seen some amazingly beautiful shots of storm fronts or lightning. If you're thinking about capturing some of your own lightning photography, I'll show you some gear that'll make you better in a flash. Hi, I'm Larry Becker. When it comes to capturing lightning strikes, you might think the only super fast triggers are big, expensive equipment for scientific labs. That's not the case. Have a look at these. You're looking at three lightning strike triggers from AEO Photo that are designed to trigger various DSLR cameras when they see a lightning strike. And the fourth little device here is a Ranger Storm Warning device to help you know when and where to point your camera. As I go through these three triggers, I'll start from the most basic model and we'll be adding features as we go along. So we'll start by looking at the AEO Photo Lightning Strike Micro 4.0 Lithium Shutter Trigger. The 4.0 part of that name indicates that this is the most recent version of this trigger and the new fourth generation units have longer battery life compared to previous models. Long battery life is important for a unit that's on and waiting for lightning to happen which can sometimes take hours and hours. The supplied lithium ion battery in this unit will give you up to 180 hours of continuous operation. The micro is the simplest unit and it does one thing very well and very quickly. It triggers your camera's shutter in 0.3 milliseconds when it sees lightning. There are quite a few things about this device that show the engineers understand clever design. First, it's especially small and lightweight. It has a plastic foot that fits nicely in your camera's hot shoe, so it's in a good position and always with you and with your camera. The on-off switch is cleverly recessed, so you can't accidentally turn it on, but it's very easy to switch it on and off when you want to. The rechargeable battery does need to come out of the device to be charged, and then you'll need to charge it with a AA battery charger. It doesn't come with one, but you'll probably already have one that will work. One more thing it doesn't come with, and you probably don't have on hand, is the 2.5 millimeter cable that goes from the trigger to your camera. Since it can't use the hot shoe connections to fire the shutter, you'll need to pick up the right cable to go from the trigger to your camera's remote control port. I used a Velo RCC C1 to trigger my Canon 70D. The next model is the AEO Photo Lightning Strike Pro 4.0 Lithium Shutter Trigger. The basics of the trigger are the same since it has the same battery and it uses the 2.5 millimeter cable to trigger the shutter in 0.3 milliseconds, but the Pro in the product name signifies that there's a manual sensitivity override. The unit can accept power from a micro USB connection to charge the battery on board. The hot shoe mount is a locking version and it comes with a cool velour pouch. So the Mini will get you started and the Pro will allow you fine tuning of sensitivity and onboard charging. Then the AEO Photo Lightning Strike Multi-Trigger Pro adds passive infrared motion sensitivity to the triggering options. I set up mine on the corner of my desk and every time somebody walked by in my office it snapped a shot or two. It even worked on high speed burst mode and it took six or eight shots as people walked by. And speaking of testing, while you wait for a storm to blow in, you can charge and test your lightning triggers by clicking off a shot with a point and shoot camera that has a built in flash. Just keep in mind that cell phone LED flashes are far slower so they may not trigger the units like a regular photographic flash will. One other note is that while you can have your camera indoors and shoot lightning through a window, AEO Photo says that you can't use the motion detection feature through glass. There are a few more things that all these devices have in common. They work well in daylight or at night. The electronics of these triggers don't interrupt image review on your camera like some devices can. All of them have low profile status LEDs so that when you set up on a tripod and shoot through a window, there isn't a reflection of the LEDs bouncing off the glass and back into your image. The manuals that come with these devices are very basic and consist of three or four pages of color copies folded into the box. The good news is that the devices are pretty simple to operate and one of the great things in the documentation is a solid checklist of camera techniques for getting the best possible lightning shots. 
They suggest the right f-stop and shutter speed for day or night shots. They mention how you should turn off AF and make sure to mount your camera on a tripod and a couple of other things that will give you the best possible results. So if you pick up one of these triggers and you want to be ready to catch the leading lightning of an approaching storm, but you don't feel like keeping the local weather channel on all the time, pick up the AEO Photo Lightning Strike Ranger Storm Warning Device. It's a small, lightweight box that you can wear with the supplied lanyard or hang from a keychain. Then, it'll tell you about the approaching and departing storms within a 25-mile radius, and it'll even tell you about lightning strikes and whether they're cloud-to-cloud -cloud or cloud-to-ground. It's a nice way to round out your lightning photography kit. From the base model to the Multi-Trigger Pro, AEO Photo Lightning Strike Triggers and their Ranger LS Storm Alarm are thoughtfully designed and fast, accurate tools that'll help you capture your own striking images. For B&H and Kelby One, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.